Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the first two weeks in January. So that would be January 1st through the 15th. Keep in mind that every reading is for you, and the timing is fluid. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and just see what comes up. What do we have for the first two weeks in January for Cancer? There could be a new spark. You could be meeting somebody or you're with somebody that there's a deep attraction. You could suddenly, I just saw the Ace of Wands. Okay, that's a new sexual partner or a new partner that really excites you. This is an exciting, fresh start. Okay, it's like this new new fire, a new flame. Um, it's a match. Okay, it could be a match made in heaven, okay? There's a sudden spark or a sudden interest or a sudden entrance perhaps into your life. There's there's something happening that is very exciting, put it that way. Okay? That's really good. The Ace of Wands. What do we have for Cancer? Contract. You could be dealing with some sort of contract. Uh, now this is reminds me of the Six of Pentacles. It really does. This reminds me of generosity, getting what you deserve. This is also a card of balance, equal, equality, you know, uh, reciprocation. Um, you may be getting into a new contract or something like that. That's what it looks like in the next two weeks. Something to do with a contract. You're gonna, you're gonna be getting something. Oh, the five of swords. The five of swords is about. Uh, well, we have a struggle. This is a power struggle. Um, defeat. Feeling defeated. You may feel like you've been defeated. You may feel like you've lost. Maybe you, you, somebody uh, hurt you. Somebody pushed you away. Somebody um, didn't care if they hurt you. Who knows what the case is, but it looks like... This person, doesn't realize what they've lost, put it that way. That's also a conflict of some sort. You may be feeling conflicted. Maybe you get in a fight with somebody and somebody walks away. Ooh, Six of Swords reversed. Now that is reluctant to take a new approach. Some of you are having a hard time moving on from somebody that betrayed you or hurt you. And this could go vice versa as well. But this is reluctant to move on, reluctant to take a new approach, staying in a troubled situation where there's belittlement, belittlement. Somebody is being belittled. It's a constant battle. There's a lot of conflict. So somebody here is in that type of situation and they need to move on but they won't now the two of wands reversed is uh feeling discontent and a level of indecision unable to make a decision there could be fear of change somebody may stay be staying in a safe situation it's safe but it's still troublesome there's definitely a lot of conflict here you you i saw that ace of wands the ace of wands is an exciting opportunity and it's about starting fresh. So it's like you have this. It's like, And the Ace of Wands has the hand of God, right? Or the hand of somebody saying, here, do you want it? But you have to take it. You have to take it. So, you know, I feel like, and see, this is go, like not taking it. It's like it's right in your hand, but you're not taking it. So it's like you, there's somebody is very conflicted about moving on from a troubled situation that where, you know... There's a lot of disappointments. There is with the two of wands reversed. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ha! Huh, for sure. By the looks of things, you might be dealing with a with an earth sign. It doesn't have to be. There's some, one person here that is not stable. This person is jealous and suspicious. Doesn't work very hard. Doesn't put in effort. Doesn't have anything of value to add. Then we have this other person that's doing all the work. There's definitely a lack of reciprocation here. So we have one person that is doing it all and the other person is not. 
Um, we have one person that is holding on to what they have. They're not giving it to anybody. They're not giving, they're, they're very focused on their money. They're focused on materialistic things. They, they're very materialistic. And, and perhaps the conflict is about money. Okay, there could be a conflict about money. It's there, if you're in a coupled relationship, you may be fighting over the finances. Somebody, you know, isn't getting, you know, uh, it's not equal. Because this is about equality, right? It's not equal. It's, it's not. You can tell that it's it's really not equal. There's imbalance here. One person is paying more than the other. The other person just doesn't have to have it to give or doesn't want to work harder to get it or doesn't pay up when they say they're going to. There's definitely financial problems here where one person is paying more than the other and it's causing conflict. And it's like it's, they may be saying, you got to go, you got to move. If you can't pay, you got to move, you know, that kind of thing. And maybe there's not enough money to move. There's definitely some bitterness here. There could be an ex that is in the picture. We now have two people. Um, there, somebody uh, may rather be alone. It's like if I'd rather be alone if if you can't pay up, that kind of thing. Or they're still holding on to their ex. So you may be dealing with somebody that is still holding on to their ex. You know, they're holding on to something. Um, it could be their ex. There is another person or another woman here, okay? Now we have three queens. Whenever you get three queens in a reading, in a reading, there's gossip. There's too many people. There's uh, a lot of talk going around. There's pro There could be some cheating, okay? Um... You could be, somebody is dealing with a person that is entertaining several people. I just want you to know. Um, somebody is holding on to a dead end situation and they are refusing to move on because it's safe. They're choosing the safest option and they probably know that there is another person. Could be another woman, could be another man, whatever. There is definitely another person on the side. There's like a side chick here. There is a side chick. Or a side man or a side person there is. And we have somebody that's having a hard time making a choice. Making any moves. But this is exhausting them. It really is exhausting them. Somebody is feeling exhausted. They're feeling exhausted because they know. It's like they know that they have to move on. But it's disheartening, right? It is very disheartening. Um, now this is somebody that is younger. A better suitor. This could also be a child. Somebody may be in some sort of conflict and it has to do with a child. Maybe there's, it's the mother of their child that they're holding on to. Maybe the mother of the child is causing problems using the child. You know what I mean? There's a child in the mix here. And, you know, maybe it's the, the child's mother. Um, this it also could be a wicked stepmother who is causing problems. There's, 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 there's family issues here. Okay. There's, there's, this could be a, somebody that has a new wife or a new girlfriend and the children don't like that person that, or the child doesn't like that person and it's causing major conflict. Okay. Anyhow, um, and, and that could just be the ticket, the tool that, that forces somebody to move on, you know? Um, time of introspection, reflection. Now, this is somebody that's very independent, and this one is too. So we have somebody here that may be deciding to go their own way. It's time to reflect. It's time to isolate and come up with a plan. Somebody may be planning to move. Maybe they can't move yet because they're saving money. They may be just biding their time, but while they're biding their time, there's a lot of conflict here. Now, this is an exciting new opportunity to broaden your horizons, but you have to be careful not to lose your focus. This is also a suitor that may be a little bit younger that could be entering somebody's life or they have entered somebody's life. This is an invitation or an offer. Somebody could be getting an invite or they've gotten an offer that is too attractive to pass up. It's a very attractive offer, put it that way. There's, I really feel like there's going to be a conflict and there's going to be another woman or another man that causes it. There could be a, a, a spat 
Okay, a spat between two women or or three women or something like that. There definitely could be a spat. Um, we do have a loss here. So we could have one person that is experiencing a loss. And it, it's very hard. There's grieving. There's sadness. There's crying. There's moping. Um, not realizing that everything happens for a reason. Somebody is refusing to accept that there's another opportunity. We could have somebody here that is overly confident. You know, they think that their shit doesn't stink. And, you know, maybe this person is unhealthy because this is very unhealthy. Somebody analyzes the situation and um, decides to broaden their horizons because this is a new opportunity a new empty a new enterprise right here but somebody has been focused on a loss for some time but this is uh finding the confidence and the courage and the strength to overcome this loss and start over so maybe that's what you need to do you need to find that strength within you to overcome this whatever this is. I mean, the five of cups is a, is a breakup or it's a emotional loss and, and start over again. So somebody is, this could also be a message. Okay. Somebody could be receiving a message that opens up a new doorway with them for them, sends them down a new path. Somebody has manifested a new doorway opening, put it that way. Something. And I also, I mean, I mean we definitely have a child here or children. Um, something to do with children has caused probably a split or a breakup or it's going to cause a split or a breakup it's like the children and the partner is a problem however that resonates with you we do have a contract here that is definitely in focus and i feel like this contract is either i feel like this contract is Well, let's clarify this card. What is this contract? Ooh, that's a contract right there. That is a contract. A soulmate union, a soulmate contract. Now, remember I said this is the Six of Pentacles. I said this reminds me of the Six of Pentacles, and that's the first card. Isn't that funny? It's getting what you deserve. This is also you reap what you sow. So keep that in mind. And this is taking away from one and giving to somebody else. That's what this is. And this is an cho unexpected choice in love. And it's not exactly what you asked for. It's not. I th and this is not, this is not somebody, it's not who you think it is. This is Cupid or, or, or Archangel Raphael or Gabriel or whoever it is bringing two people together that are meant to be together, but it's not exactly who you asked for. It's not who you think it is. So I see, think that we are going to have a new contract. This is, some, this is unexpected. There's a new contract that is coming into play and there is another contract that is ending. It's like taking away from one and giving to another. I know that's what we got here. It's also a time of reevaluation. Okay. There's a, a time of reevaluation. Somebody is about to get their life back on track. They're making a choice. Okay. Because sixes are about choices. And this is a choice up here. A choice in regards to what is going to make them happy. What is going to fulfill their wishes. They have been in a situation that wasn't a dream come true. That didn't fulfill their wishes. That didn't make them happy. And they may have been losing hope. But I feel like there's going to be an unexpected choice that is presented to them. Like that Ace of Wands. It's like if there's a new spark or a new flame or a new sexual partner. Or a new... Uh, What's well, a spark? It's a connection. It's like a sudden one too, because this could be sudden and the ace of wands is sudden. And this is an exciting, this is good news or a message or somebody that is better suited for you coming into your life. So Cancer, I think that you should definitely expect the unexpected. You're probably going to be right reevaluating your choices this month or these two weeks. You're going to be presented with a choice. There's no doubt about it. 
and you're going to have to choose between two people. An ex is one of them because we have an ex right here. We also have somebody that isn't stable, isn't solid, isn't secure, isn't very valuable. And then we have somebody here that is very, very attractive. Somebody that is very passionate and fiery here. So I think that you're going to have a choice between several. And somebody has been entertaining several people. Um, it could be your partner, okay? Maybe your partner has a choice between several people. And they choose to... Uh, take the new offer somebody is getting a new offer i know they are whether it's you or the person that you are with now remember the six of pentacles is about reciprocation it's about generosity generosity it's about receiving it's about give and take so i think that somebody is going to get exactly what they deserve whether it be good or bad okay six 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 six. Sixes are about um, reevaluation, the journey to balance and harmony, making choices, making decisions about what is going to get your life back on track. We have somebody here that has definitely been very materialistically focused, and now they have a choice: do they want to continue to put their their work first, their money first, their their assets first, or they want to put love first? Because there's a new lover that is entering the scene okay this is an unexpected choice an unexpected union and this person can help you to heal okay this is a healing love this is a soulmate connection that is meant to be but this is also a card of consequences so be prepared to live with the consequences we definitely have some consequences here i see that as well it's like you choose wisely if this person may not look like your usual type, and I really see that, and I know you guys don't like to hear that, especially cancers, and you don't have to like me for saying that, but I've learned my profession. And cancers are very much drawn to looks. This person does not fit the description. But they are a perfect Match. Good luck.